Are you having at me? Are you looking yet? at me? Look at the camera. You're right behind the camera. <laughs> I keep wanting to talk to you. Hello, neighbor. Welcome to Table Tank. I am your host, Mike Chuck, and this episode we're going to be playing Vault Wars by Floodgate Games. With me this episode is my friend Janet. Hey. And my friend Matt. And we are drinking Logan is for Lovers by Maplewood Brewery. It is a very tropical, fruity IPA, and it's super good. Cheers, y'all. In Vault Wars, we are all aspiring heroes. We are each going to be auctioning off and bidding on items that we have in our vaults that we all start off with, trying to find items that will allow us to become heroes ourselves. All of the vaults are abandoned by heroes that have deceased in battle. I did not know this until prepping for this episode that the theme's actually kind of a little dark. <laughs> the goal is to have the most victory points at the end, and so there are three ways to get victory points. The first is the items that we're gonna win in auctions. Many of them have victory points. Second, uh, your aspiring hero. We all have have two aspiring heroes and they provide bonuses at the end of the game. You're not locked into either one. You just have to choose by the time the game is over. And then third, every 10 gold you have is going to be worth one point. In a three player game, we each have five vaults. There are five rounds and in each round there are four phases. The first phase is prepare the vaults. We're going to pick one vault that we're gonna put up for auction and place it face down. We're ready to go. Let's reveal. Then the next phase is the auction phase, and this is gonna go in order of vault priority. Every vault card, it has a name on it, as well as a number. The number is the vault priority. I have a vault priority of one. Dan, what do you have? 15. Eight. I will actually start this off with a the small chest. Small chest, auction master, after drawing items, you must add one from your item pile to this vault's items. Parentheses, if able, it's the beginning of the game, I am not able, vault card, have three symbols on them. The first is the number of items in it. From the item deck right here, I will draw three items. I get to look at all of them as the auction master. So I will take a little look here and see what's in my vault of my slain hero, apparently. <laughs> Did I slay them? Is it Was it me? Is that why the person's dead? No, it's all and now I'm just taking it's all it's, There's a lot of ways you could take possession of a vault. Okay. <laughs> The next thing is in the middle of the card, I get to reveal one. So this will be table knowledge. I'm gonna reveal that there's an ornate bow. And so item cards, this is a weapon, it's Elven. Those words are important for other item cards as well as your aspiring hero. Potentially you have something that references weapons or Elven cards. It may not be equipped. Equip is a later phase. The gold buy is how much it can be sold for. If you're gonna hold on to this till the very end of the game, maybe worth two victory points. So I'm gonna put that out there. The final symbol on the vault card is the peak value. Of the remaining items on this particular one, you'll get to look at one. And then you're gonna shuffle it and hand it to your left. Matt's gonna look at one. Finally, we get to the auction. I, as the auction master, get to start with an opening bid. I'm going to bid six. Janet can either raise by a minimum of one or she can pass. I bid eight. Oh, okay. I pass. As the auction master, I only get that opening bid. By anybody else bidding, I automatically lose. We all started off with 20 gold. It's gonna go to Janet, so that's eight gold. Then I will give her the remaining items, including the revealed ones, so now she gets to see everything that was in there. That was the small chest, so I'm going to discard this. And it goes in vault priority. I was one, and so then eight is Matt. Hmm? Matt, tell us about tell us about your vault. So I have the troll cave. Okay, is this <laughs> <laughs> Troll cave, all right. <laughs> Aaron's coming all the way around to get that one. That is way more epic. I could have got it. It's like a ball runner in tennis. I love, I love yeah. you. I'm a 15 year old boy. So I have the troll cave. I'm gonna draw six. I'll show everybody one, and we all peek at two. But before bidding, I pick one item and I put it back into the deck. Peek at two. Peek at two. Peek at two. <laughs> draw six. The troll cave. Bunch of inflammatory internet posts. An ornate bow. Pass to your left. To peek at two. I'm gonna have the top two, just so I don't complicate it for myself. <laughs> good to know, good to know. I will right, shuffle it up for Janet. I can shuffle, I can shuffle. I'm just yeah. gonna take these out of convenience. Okay. I regret taking these out of convenience, but I have to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that was really rough. <laughs> so now I Welcome can pick to one. Table Tank, where the cards are dropped and the whatever. We're inspiring. As always. <laughs> <laughs> right. so the opening bid is going to be seven. I'm going to go with ten. Pass. I win it 10. Dan, it got me there. All right, I got to pay all of it. So I get all of these items. The troll cave goes into this vault discard. And let's see what I got here. Awesome. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> Thank you. Happy I could help. The thieves. Safe. And my card reads as follows. Auction Master, choose the revealed items after the players have peeked at the item. You guys get to look before I actually put one down for everyone to see. And you guys get to peek at three. Pika 3, the evolved version of Pika 2. Three kit shoes. Three kit, three. <laughs> Episode's over, we did it. Shuffle. What's my heroes again? <laughs> it's a great question. It's okay. It's Good one enough. I ask myself often. Good to know. Reveal two. Yeah. So we got some junk. Junk items aren't worth any gold or any victory points, as you might guess with, you know, Junk. And then there's the emerald. So emerald is a gem. They are worth more victory points for every gem you have in a set. Right now, the gem is worth one point. But if you were to have two, each gem would be worth two points for four total. And then it keeps kind of going up as theirs. What's the opening bid? Eight. Ten. I am gonna pass. So it's gonna map for ten. Give me all that junk. And you'll get the remaining two. Phase three is get paid. The first part of that is equip. Look through your item pile. Any items that say equip, you may equip those items right now by placing them face up in front of you and that allows you to use the effect Matt, what are you equipping right there? I equipped the Rainmaker stat. At the beginning of every round, I gain two gold. One thing to know about equipping an item is you can no longer sell it, and also you can no longer gain its victory points. The next part of the get paid phase is selling. If you have any items that you want to get rid of, you may sell them for the gold value on the bottom left of the card. Also, if you have any junk items, you may discard them right now as well. I'm gonna do that right now. I have three junk cards. They Thank you very much for those. <laughs> Did not see those when I won that auction. <laughs> I'm junking one. I only got away with one. After that, there is the Lone Shark. We'll come back and explain the Lone Shark later. Next is phase four. That is the end of the round. Now we have to pay for all of the things that we have won. It is one gold per item. However, for every three junk that you hold on to, you can pay one gold for all three. That is something where you do have to reveal to the table that these are junk items. I'm gonna hold on to two items. So I'm gonna pay two gold and those are gonna go back into the bank. Paying three, then for three items. Making some change. Put the super cool metal coins. Matt, any I'm storage space? Three. Three, hold, all right. At the end of the round, you have a second chance to visit the Lone Shark. However, you can only visit the Lone Shark once per round. So that is the end of the first round. We're gonna take a beer break. Woo. And we're gonna come back and play some more Vault Wars. Hello and welcome back. It's all refilled and we are ready to keep on playing. During the break, we played another round. We didn't play another round, shit. <laughs> we are on round three here. This is the prepare your vault phase. So everybody grab a vault and play it face Wait, down. Oh, for the round. Matt. I get two gold. Oh yeah, why do you get two gold? Cause I got my Rainmaker staff. I'm gonna play this vault. A reveal. I have played the Guildmaster's Workshop. That is Vault Priority 6. 13 Heroes Tomb. Gambler's Den, 12. I am going to start this round off again with the Guildmaster's Workshop. I will draw four items. Asterix. So asterisk means you need to read the special auction rules for the card. Auction Master. I will draw seven cards. I will choose four, then shuffle the rest back. There's no reveal, and you will get to peek at one. Seven items, sure and seven, and then I get to pick. <sighs> All right, I get to pick four items and the rest go back into the item deck. Shut up, I know what my <laughs> things are. All right, so those, here they go on the item deck. Shuffle the item deck. No reveal to the table, instead you get to peek at one. One? You only get to look at one. That's the one. Oh, you're right. Was that the right one? Yeah. Is that the good one? I hope so. 
All right, back to me. I don't know where I left. They are here. bad. I'm gonna start this off with ten gold. Oh my god! Damn it! Jesus. Yeah. Eleven. Mm -hmm. Damn it! <laughs> I didn't want it. Shut up. Twelve. You can mm, raise. No, I'm okay. It's gonna be twelve to Matt. I take your twelve, <laughs> and you get those four items. The gambler's den. How I does this one work? draw four cards. I don't reveal anything, and none of you look at anything. <laughs> After I look at the items, I can exchange them for the four top cards in the deck, and then I shuffle the deck. So if that happens, it's a blind draw for you as well. Yep. I don't get to look at them either. Four. So I'm gonna put them back. Mm-hmm. Four. I have to start the bid at what I can pay, right? Important rule is when you are bidding, you have to have that much money. Matt, what's your bid here? Uh, the opening bid is two. I am going to bid five? <sighs> Make him pay. Make him pay. Seven. Yeah, I can do 10. Pass. It's fine, I got this. I want to see what I got there. Oh, let's find Hand out. Hand it over. Interesting. Inter wait. It's all junk, right? It's all junk? That is antithetical to what my hero <laughs> I just gave you garbage. <laughs> oh, auction master. You may set aside any number of junk cards from this vault face up and draw up to four items. Then shuffle the junk cards you set aside in the item deck. You may only do this once. Or do you want to get rid of Do you have any junk cards in there you want to get rid of? No. Burnished Mirror is an artifact. We get a P2. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's your opening bid? Eight. Mm, pass. Yeah, I got a pass on that one. I am very low on cash. But I pay eight, right? When you win an auction as the auction master, you actually pay the eight into the bank. We're gonna move on to the getting paid. Excavation gears. Take up the two junk cards from the trash pile. It's Excellent. so sticky. Oh, no, it's it, it stay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I ran over here. I am going to sell this whetstone just for one. This mining sieve for three. But I'm also going to trash two junk. I'm going to sell two elven items. Each piece of armor is two gold to sell. However, if you sell in a set, each armor item is worth four gold. Matt is selling two. Yep. So he's going to eight total. Yep. I got it. That was me. Yeah. That was on yep. me. Careful. Also uh, on me. If next is gonna be a sword face, I'm gonna pay three. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to all of my items. You got a lot going on there. Yeah. Six, seven, eight. Nine. Janet has nine items and seven gold. I'm so broke. when you are, when you don't have enough money to store all of your items, uh, you have to trash one a piece. So she's going to trash two items. It's, it's probably not the right decision. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. She's trashing an ornate bow and a copper. Alembic. I'm gonna say alembic. Yeah. Alembic. Thank you, Matt. So you have your remaining seven items. So pay those. It was all of it, right? Into the mm -hmm. bank. Yeah, all of it. This is how I knew I would live. <laughs> <laughs> like, store in six. If you are under 12 gold, you can go visit the loan shark. Is anybody there right now that wants to go get more money? Yes. You're going to get 12 gold from the loan shark. He's very friendly, right? Mm, However, he's going to give you a corruption token. One corruption token is worth minus two victory points at the end of the game. You also have the excavation gear. So after storage fees, you want to get some junk out of this trash. You can deal to do that. We are going to get another beer and we're going to come back and finish Vault Wars. See you in a second. Welcome back to Table Tank. This is the last round of Vault Wars. We only have one vault left. Let's reveal what you got. I've got the Svelte it's Elven Cabinet. It's, it's very difficult. It is a vault priority of four. I have Cedar Trunk. 14. Vault priority of 10 on the gear chamber. So I will be starting this off. Uh, the winner, you may keep this vault in your item pile as an elven item. I will draw four. I'm gonna reveal to all of you the obsidian sword and you get to look, you get to peek, peek at one item. So I'm gonna do a little shuffle, 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 shuffle. You look at one, peek at one. I'm gonna say the opening bid is oh, six. Uh, for seven. Let's do nine. He goes to Matt. All right, not, Matt is, Matt's got some cash. Give me the rest of those cards. You may keep this vault oh, yeah. in your item as an elven item. Well, I don't want it, so I'm gonna junk it. Okay, Are we on next? Kind of wanted that. 
I'm terribly sorry. Mm. So the gear chamber, I'm gonna draw items equal to the number of the player. So I'm gonna draw three, but starting with me, each player peeks at all the remaining cards and places one face down in the middle and passes the rest clockwise. And you only can bid or pass once. It one, is a complicated two, system of three interlocking mechanisms. Mm-hmm. My hands work perfectly there. And put it right down here? That's, that's, I can't say what it is. And when you're done? Let's start at a nice five. Yeah, seven. Um, eight. <sighs> I'm gonna do 11. Pass. That goes 11 to Matt. <laughs> Thank you for your custom. <laughs> All right, it's worth it. It's, is it worth it? Yeah. None of us know really what's in here. You don't you don't really know what I looked at. I got a peek. How much garbage did I give you? Um, enough. <laughs> oh wait, no, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> 14 cedar trunk auction master reveal any number of junk cards from your item pile and add to this vault's items before players peek. All right, one junk is it added. Let's mm -hmm. put that junk back into the cards you drew. Looking at five, starting bid goes to you. Seven. Let's do eight. Let's do eight. Let's do eight. No, cannot bid higher than eight. It's gonna go to Matt for eight. Here you go. All right. What did I win? All right. All right. So now we're just selling items. I will trash two junk items. I'm selling diamond for four, rare for two, brush mirror for none. Six. You can sell it for any other item you're currently selling. So you can sell it for the same value of a diamond. Sure. That's gonna be ten. Ooh. Dragon coin. I'm well, not gonna sell anything, not, but I am no. gonna trash five junk. Wow, that's a lot of junk. Y'all keep giving me junk. I need to go to the loan shark. Uh, Going to the loan shark is gonna gain Matt 12 gold. A begrudging 12 gold. But it's also gonna gain him a corruption token. In order to pay my storage fees for coming up, I, I have one. So I am going to have to visit the loan shark. Take another two, ah, and then a corruption token. Storage fees. I have four items. I am going to pay, whew, all right, I'm gonna pay four. Yeah, three. If you have junk, you gotta show us the three. I have just a lot. <laughs> all right, so three. Matt, how are you doing? 13. Wait, what? 10, 11, 12, 13. None of that is junk. None of this is junk. None of that I is junk. I got rid junk. of all my junk. This is all good stuff in my trunk. So. So end of the game. Now is the time to top your points. First off, let's add up the items in your item pile. I had an ornate bow of two, and then I had two rubies. Each is worth two victory points. So I had four total. So that is six. Second is your aspiring hero. You had two at the beginning of the game, but you have to choose one now. I went with the Berserker. End of game, plus three for each weapon item. I had nine because I'm the Berserker, because I have that ornate bow. And then third, I have nine gold. If I had one more, that'd be 10. I get a victory point for that. I also had, ah, dragon egg, and the dragon egg is worth minus one. That takes me down to eight. I have one corruption token that that takes me down to six. Wow, that's real bad. Real, <laughs> real bad. Janet, how did you do? So I have the hoarder. The hoarder is plus one victory points for every junk item. And I had like two. Four. Oh my God, that's so much junk. So it would be like um, 11, so it was 11 junk. Matt, how'd you do there? Oh. I have three diamonds, the full dragon set. I have the handy haversack, three more emeralds. There's a reason I paid 13 gold in storage fees. So my hero is also the warlord. So I get plus four for each dragon item. How and I have three dragon three items. Three dragon items. So four, eight, oh, 44. Okay. <laughs> Matt gets first, but very strong first. <laughs> well then, that is how you play Fault Wars by Floodgate Games. Janet, do you have anything you would like to plug? Yeah, I do video game drills I'm under the handle of Game Onesis. My YouTube channel, my Instagram, my Facebook, all that stuff is under Game Onesis, so you guys can check me out over there. Check out Game Onesis. I can't say it. It's hard to say. It's yeah. hard to say. It's Unless like it's directly on, in front of me, I can't S pronounce West. it, and I am not in the to say it. Janet, Matt, Thank you so much for playing. Thank you for watching Table Tank. This has been Vault Wars by Floodgate Games. See you soon.